What do you remember about that trip to uh, Athens a couple of years ago and that experience and, and what kind of position do you think the program's in now compared to then? Um, the trip, to, the last trip, I think it was a great environment to be in. Obviously, we came up short, but it's a great place to play in. Fans are great, and we're just really focused on this week. We're not really worried about last trip. Don, what do you guys have to do defensively to kind of get that edge back uh, defending the run like you guys had the majority of the season? Um, just play our brand of ball, finish um, what we started, how we started the season. We need to come back in with that edge again and just keep our foot on everybody next when we have them down, basically. On that note, Don, what do you see as some of the issues that you guys have given up some long runs over the last couple of games? Um, just not fitting our gaps properly, being in the wrong place. We just, this bit, we got to lock in on the little things, uh, footwork, technique, using our hands, getting separation, and finishing our, like, getting off blocks. Do you think it provides you any upper hand or a disadvantage to see Georgia coming off of a loss? Um, no, I'm pretty, pretty sure they'll be prepared. They'll bring everything they got just like we will this week, so, yeah. Sorry, lady in the back. How do you guys, heading into a big game like this, big media coverage game as well, just eliminate all that outside noise? Um, because every we take the games week by week. Every game is the same thing. We're just trying to go one and know that week and put the best film on display, like put our best play on display that week. You hear the guys talk a lot about like the run game and not fitting the gaps like you just mentioned. What do you think like led to that shift where maybe you're not fitting the gaps as well as you had in the first half of conference? Um, I honestly don't know. It just falls back to preparation. Maybe we didn't prepare the right way last week. So this week we just have to try to get back to what we do and how we do it. And what's it like for you guys to see Jason make the play he did the other night and, and continue to sort of get you know get, get an opportunity and, and make the most of it? Oh, no, nah, that was fun. It was great because Jason, he, he works. He just keeps working. He doesn't stop working. So when somebody just go makes a play like that, it's special because, you know, that's what he's been wanting. That's what he's been waiting on. Uh, Boo Carter is obviously quite the character, and just seeing him uh, celebrate whatever play he makes out on the field, how much of that do you see during practice as well? That's just Boo. That's just that's him. You're going to see that everywhere you are with him. Tom, you guys have really been splitting snaps a lot with all the depth you have on that D-line. No Tyree West in on Saturday. You have 42 snaps, a little bit more maybe than normal. How how'd you come out? How'd you feel late in the game? Uh, I feel good. It's a lot of snaps, but it's fine. We we prepare for it. Coach G has us ready every week, so it's not nothing different. Tom, obviously, y'all had some moments on defense last year where you, where you were really good, and sometimes that you, you you'd like to have been better. Did you see this group getting this much better this season? I know you haven't played the past couple of weeks exactly the way you want to, but did you see this improvement coming? Um, yeah, because it's like, I don't know, everybody came back with the same goal in mind this year. Everybody wanted the same thing at the end of the road. So we had one thing in mind and everybody's working towards that.